Okay, we're back at the JFrog Swamp Up in Napa right after lunch. So, of course, we're in Napa and we had to have a little bit of wine with our lunch. <laughs> Heather Van Cura back here, and our next interview guests are from Code Fresh. We have Chloe Condon and Raz Tabib. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> here, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves first? Introduce yourselves. Sure. So, um, my name is Raziel. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of Code Fresh. Um, basically, I've been here in the Bay Area in the past 10 years. Founded Code Fresh in about three years ago. Um, after being in the industry for almost 12 years, has been relocated here from a small country called Israel. Um, and now I've been staying in the Bay Area and loving it. I love to be here in Napa for the second time I'm in this event. Awesome. Welcome back. My first time here oh yeah? at the Swamp Up. So, of course, I've been to Napa before. <laughs> <laughs> first time here at the J Frog Swamp Up. All right, Chloe. My name is Chloe. Uh, this is my very first Swamp Up. Um, I am a developer evangelist at Code Fresh. My life previous to being a developer was being an actress. So, I recently made the transition from theater to software engineering. Um, a lot of very similar things and a lot of very different things <laughs> from both of those worlds. But I'm really loving learning all the computer science things that I can, especially containers. Interesting. That was the thing that I read in your bio that I was <laughs> trying to remember that I would ask you about. So tell us a little bit about CodeFresh, and then we'll talk a little bit about your session. So you want to tell us a little bit? Yeah. So. Basically, we uh, CodeFresh came up after we've seen these major disruptions of containers. Uh, we've realized that containers actually help us rethink many things that we did before that can be done differently, that can be done much more efficiently. Um, when we have founded CodeFresh, we have thought about how we can build, test, and deploy application much faster, how we can build, test, and deploy microservices application much faster. And, and that's what CodeFresh is all about. CodeFresh is all about building, uh, providing a platform that helps team build, test, and deploy container in a much more efficient, streamlined, and collaborative way. OK. okay. That makes sense. So yeah, it fits in perfectly with the conference agenda here. I see your session is called Stop Using the Stage Server. So that's, I guess, it's it's kind of a thing to have a provocative title these days, right? Like something you think you couldn't do that, right? So yeah. what 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 are what are some of the what are some of the highlights of the talk that you want to share with us? Maybe Chloe, tell us a little bit about the talk. Sure. Yeah. So um, a big part of our talk is talking about being able to get feedback enough in advance so you can implement that feedback before bringing it to the staging server. So kind of pushing all of the unit tests, pushing all of getting the peer feedback um, pre-staging server. That way you can implement it. Um, do you want to speak a little more on it, Raziel? Yeah, I think I think the um, one of the it's indeed a bold statement, um, but we're standing behind the statement. I think that for for quite some time we have been struggling with having the staging environment as kind of must have and be the first time in which our code changes are being tested for integration, to, you know reviewed by everyone uh, by everyone else and it's pretty painful when things breaks in staging environment it holds the whole team back um, even when I was a product manager or when I was a developer when things get into staging and they not have been implemented exactly the way you've envisioned it's always too late to make changes it's already in staging you have to push it to production so what we were actually telling with that bold statement is not that you will eliminate the concept of staging environment, but it just forced you to rethink the way you use staging environment. And many of the things can actually take place earlier in the life cycle. We can create a staging-like environment much earlier, screen for bugs or issues much earlier in the life cycle. So when things are hitting the staging environment, it's not the first time they're being tested. It's actually kind of being the last steps of getting confidence about your code, but not the first time you're testing them and, and you know, kind of removing that frustration. It goes back to the streamline of the whole process. 
Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, you can add to that and then maybe tell me. I know your talk already happened. So tell me how it went. You know, if it go any better than you thought, any interesting feedback from the crowd. Why don't you share that? So going back to what Raziel was saying, um, bringing my theater background into it, I kind of like to think of a pre-staging environment like a rehearsal for your code. Like I wouldn't want to do my talk without getting feedback or practicing it ahead of time. So that way you're able to implement that feedback and then have a much shinier product to, to reveal at the end. And the talk went very well. I, I enjoyed doing it. And uh, I, I actually think that... Um, Doing technical talks is a lot different than doing musical theater, I've found. <laughs> it's a little scarier when you're working with actual technology that you're not in control of, but it, everything went smoothly and had a great talk. To your point, I, I did expect you know, some attendees to come in, few attendees, and what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know? Like how do you have the little you know the balls to even say something I like that sorry for that okay okay, okay sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> like how can you have such confidence to say but but i think you know it resonates it actually resonates very well with the with the attendance that you know what we can rethink the way we did things in the past uh, there are new technologies coming in containers is by far very um well adopted technologies. Um, I think as we talk into people around here in the event, most of them are either already running containers in production or in the phase of evaluating uh, containers. Uh, JFrog has a great support for containers also as part of the platform. So while the beginning was people were looking at us kind of, what are you trying to say? Eventually when it ended, we actually got very good feedback uh, that made, thing, made people rethink the way they, they do things now. Well, I think that's really interesting and, you know, one of the reasons why you should come to a conference, right, rather than uh, just sit and watch things online, online, watch videos online, right? So get that feedback, immediate feedback from each other, right, and for the speakers from the attendees and for the attendees to give feedback to the speakers and the different um, vendors who are here. So it's really valuable. Right, yeah, and of course, you know, we can talk and laugh and drink wine. Yes. So thanks for having a little bit of wine with me and sharing with me about your talk. I enjoyed meeting you. Hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Cheers. All right, cheers. <laughs>